we welcome you to our YouTube channel Simon's Money. In this episode, we will discuss about IPO or initial public issue. We will analyze about several company floated IPO last year. Yes, it is true, only 3 out of 16 firm listed in 2019 turned multi-bagger. Effect of economic slowdown was clearly visible in primary market as we saw less IPOs in 2019 compared to 2018. But in terms of returns, more than half of these listed stocks created wealth for investor. Issues from strong companies only saw investor interest. Market gave thumbs up to companies which have strong corporate governance, niche market area, monopolistic business, etc. In the year 2019, 16 companies launched their IPO against 24 in 2018. Out of 16, only 3 gave more than 100% return. Indian Railway Catering and Tourism Corporation, in short IRCTC, registered maximum return among them in a short span of time. The only catering and ticket service provider to railways clocked 190% rally in just two and a half months. Apple India, a mobile marketing company, was the second biggest gainer with 116% return in nearly 5 months, followed by e-commerce company India Mart, Intermash, which shoot up 112% in 6 months. Investor gave thumbs up to thematic IPO across sector ranging from technology, hospitality, microfinance, consumer, healthcare, etc. Overall, investor continued to chase companies with a distinguished track record of operating and financial performance backed by strong corporate governance. After top three, next four stocks were also created wealth for investor as they gained more than 50% from their issue price. Warren Cable Manufacture Company Polycap India rallied 84%, New John Chemicals gained 68%, Diagnostic service provider Metropolis Healthcare claimed 63% and Vishraj Sugar Industries surged 50% during last year. There are six more stocks which also did not disappoint investor. They have given 15 to 50% return, which was far higher than Nifty, raising nearly 13% last year, and Nifty Midcap which lost 4.5% last year. These six stocks are Ujjivini Small Finance Bank, Spandan Furti Financial, Shariat Hotels, MSTC, Railway Vikash Nigam, and CSBC Bank. However, a few stocks disappointed Street, Prince Pipe and Fitting listed on December 30 and lost 6.5% and Sterling and Wilson Solar shed 60%. In case of Sterling, the major loss was occurred after its promoter deferred debt repayment. Exile Pomic Design and Tech, which the small issue in size 23 crores lost 4.5% last year. These 16 companies in total raised Rs 12,361.56 crore. Through public issue with Starling and Wilson, raised rupees 2,850 crores. Shell total raised 1,641 crore. Polycap India raised 1,345 crores. Metropolis Healthcare raised rupees 1,204 crores. And Spandan Furti raised 1,190 crores, being the biggest IPO of last year. With the start of optimism after government measure, most experts expect year 2020 to be better for primary market than 2019. As they feel, lot of big IPO including SBI card, UTI, MC, etc. are going to hit the capital market and the amount they in total raise is expected to be nearly double. A lot of new issues 
IPOs are lined up for 2020, some of which would have the potential to cater long-term wealth. If you like our video, kindly share with your friends and relatives. We request you to subscribe our channel so that you will not miss our forthcoming videos. Thanking you for watching our videos.